Hey everyone, welcome back to another at home with Amy vlog. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. For today's vlog, I just have a very, very exciting vlog and I have a few things that I want to share with you guys. So the last time that I vlogged, I just showed you guys kind of like us doing our errands and things like that. And I do have a few clips of me doing some cleaning that are going to be in this vlog because i'm finally getting to that point where things are feeling like back to normal this vlog is going to be kind of like all of those clips of me cleaning and cooking and all of those that i couldn't fit into my last vlog they're going to be in this one so we finally got our home goods we got all of our stuff it's been crazy i feel like i have not had a break since we got our stuff like every day there's something to put together there's something to put away so it's just been madness but I have something so exciting to share with you guys before I get into the rest of the vlog. So when we got all of our house things, I was happy with everything. But the one thing that I was not happy with was the sofas that we had. They were from before we went to Puerto Rico. They were not good quality. They were super duper soft and uncomfortable. I like a sofa to be comfy but not super soft to the point where like you're sinking into the sofa and that's pretty much what was happening with that one so i had the opportunity to work with lindsay home lindsay home was kind enough to send over a sectional and i wanted to share it with you guys because it's amazing quality i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit nervous to accept because buying a sofa is kind of like a big deal it's kind of like buying a mattress because if you don't know how it feels, there's so many things that could go wrong. But I read reviews, I saw so many good reviews, and I also saw good reviews on their customer service, which was super important to me. I saw reviews where people had concerns and Lindsay Home would automatically help them out, respond to them, ship whatever it is that they needed. So that made me feel very confident to go ahead and agree. So this is a modular sectional. It is the type of sectional that you can move in different types of ways. So if you'd like to get creative with your furniture, this is perfect. I am sitting on it right now, but I'm gonna show you guys. Me and my husband putting it together was so easy. We needed one tool to get this sofa together. One little tool took care of everything. Honestly, we barely even looked at the instructions because it was just so simple. All right, so let's rewind to the day that we received the sectional. Here we are taking out the old one, which was just so done. I did vacuum a little bit and wanted to get the area clean before we started assembling the new sectional. Now we waited until nighttime for the girls to go to sleep so that we can put this together in peace. So here is me and my husband just unboxing everything. Everything came in its own little boxes. The tools were all together, organized. You get instructions for everything. And it's literally one tool, you guys, to put together the entire sectional. So you use that tool right there to screw everything in. So here we are screwing what's gonna hold the lid in place you screw in the legs everything is so simple so easy and here my husband was screwing in the backrest to the sectional and like I said everything is just with one tool so it was just probably one of the easiest most enjoyable assemblies that we have done together without getting frustrated and everything just fit so easily so effortlessly these are bamboo charcoal memory foam and the fabric is 100% polyester the covers are removable and machine washable also I read that there will be more fabric colors available in the future which I'm very excited for I would love to see like a beige color as well because those are my two favorite colors for sofas are like beige ivory and also dark gray the hardware connectors are super strong and easy to use they keep all of the pieces together so here you see us finishing them up and it holds the sofas in place from separating or moving around there are replacement covers that are available it also has the option to get headrest for the sectional also if you have a home that is tight and you have rooms that are very hard to get to, maybe you wanna do like a game room or a family room, this is perfect because each of the pieces come in one box so you don't have to move around a huge sectional. That would not be as easy to move around in a home with tight hallways. So yeah, I feel like these are the perfect sectional for my family and you can see how easy it was to put together. It was a breeze. Thank you so, so much to Lindsay Home for giving this sectional. 
So one of the things that I absolutely love about this sofa, it's one of the features that I love, is that I can remove this part right here. It serves as storage and every single one of them has this feature. And as you can see, I have a blanket stored in there. I love sitting down, watching a movie, pulling out blankets and pillows. And I used to put baskets in my living room to hold all of those things. But now I can just put them in these little storage sections. You can put board games if you want. You can put toys if your kids love to make a mess like mine in the living room. And I just cannot stand seeing things just thrown everywhere. So sometimes if I just want to tidy up, I can just put some toys in one of them, cover it up and call it a day. And the other thing that I absolutely love is how they're not slipping and sliding around all over the place. In between each piece, you have this tool right here. And as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can see how it looks. That connects each piece together. So if you wanna move something around, all you have to do is take it off and move them around however you want and when you're done you go ahead and clip them back together so you can literally do so many different modifications with this sofa so as you can see i already put the two headrests on these two those two don't have them so that is also a new feature with these sofas you can put headrests on it and i like that idea because it makes it more sturdy it makes it more comfy as well so i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to even put on the headrest all right so for the headrest you get this piece right there and then here is the actual cushion right here and it has velcro and i'm going to show you guys how simple this is so you're going to take this part right here and you're simply going to slide the headrest in there this little velcro part you're going to tuck underneath so that it can be nice and secured and i'm going to show you guys just how simple it is to put the headrest part in i'm going to take off this cushion I'm going to slide this in, and then you just put this part back in there and there is the headrest and they're so comfy it's like an extra pillow so this is the way that i currently like to have it i want to get like a little tray and a blanket to put on top of the ottoman but i want to show you how quickly and simple you can change this around and give it a different look literally in less than a minute There you go, super simple. Now you have a long L-shaped sectional and I like to keep both sides with the end on it. There's so many different ways to style them, move them around. So I'm going to show you guys now if you want to turn it into a bed, how I would move this around. So there you go, you can also turn it into a sleeper where guests could sleep over i didn't take the back piece out because i'm going to be putting it back but i do have that extra piece over there but with six pieces you can make a sleeper so i have here extra covers that came in this packaging and here they are if i need to change anything out i have extra covers i decided to get the gray ones just to have backups because that's the color that i enjoy right now at the moment but you can get extra covers a different color if you want to change the style of it so huge huge thanks to Lindsay home and i'm going to be leaving their information in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking them out you can order them through amazon the delivery is quick everything has been going great lately and i'm so happy that the house is pretty much ready for fall decor so that's going to be like the next thing that i work with i need to give it like one more good cleaning before i start putting out my decor i need to go to the garage and get whatever decor i have from previous years so i'm going to be doing that in my next vlog but now i'm just going to move on with the rest of this vlog and i hope that you guys enjoyed it we're gonna do some cleaning some cooking so let's move on to the rest of the vlog thank you guys so much for watching the rest of the vlog i'm probably gonna do like a voiceover because i was just cleaning and recording so i will see you guys once i'm cleaning i will see you guys in my next vlog and thank you guys so so much for showing love and for supporting my channel i appreciate you guys 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm going to get started with the cleaning. I took this day to clean the house, and I love this method cleaner for the table because it smells like almond. So I am obsessed with my house smelling good too, so I just love the way that that smells. And I was doing a little bit of sweeping. I was cleaning the counters using my Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner. I was burning sun-drenched linen from Bath & Body Works because I was trying to use that one up first before I decorated for fall and lit up my fall ones. So I was just giving all of the counters a nice little wipe down, leaving everything ready for the week. This was on a Sunday. I love doing this at least one day out of the weekend, just kind of do like a reset. I also finished up the dog's room. So here's kind of like an overview of it. And I was just moving the cages because this room gets so nasty so fast because Lola sheds so much hair. So Haley does not shed, but Lola has so much hair. So I always just vacuum or sweep up just a bunch of fur balls in that area. So they have their own little room. So now I was just cleaning up the laundry room and getting some laundry done at the same time, throwing in a new load. And these are just all of the things that I do on Sunday pretty much. It's kind of like the way that I get ready for the week, have the girls school clothes ready for the week. I like to have everything ready that way the week it's not unorganized and like I'm just running around doing everything. I like to take care of everything one day before the week starts just to have the house nice and tidy. Everything is organized and that is just the best feeling ever. So the house is all nice and clean and then now I'm just going to show you the HelloFresh meal that I prepared. So I haven't had HelloFresh in years. This is not sponsored. This is not gifted to me. I just really, really love HelloFresh meals. I get these for me and my husband because the girls are really picky, so usually I will make them something separate, but their meals are so good. And I always get super fresh ingredients when I order from them. Everything is fresh and it tastes so good. Like I've never had a meal where I thought like I don't like it. So I definitely have favorites. I usually love to go for like the more like Mexican type of dishes or we love to get a lot of like steak with mashed potatoes and a vegetable on the side. Those types of meals are just the ones that we really, really enjoy. So this day it was kind of like a Mexican bowl. It was so good, you guys, it was amazing. So I was just prepping everything before I started cooking. And here is the bowl. There was pico de gallo. I put an avocado in there. There was the chicken, sour cream rice. It was delicious. So skipping to the day where we were just unboxing everything, you guys, the house was such a disaster. There was literally boxes everywhere. And I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of you guys were asking me, how did I pack my perfumes? And here I'm showing you just how I packed everything up. So my makeup, I had in a lot of makeup bags, nothing came broken. I put everything in like random shoe boxes, like nothing was done in a specific way. I just made sure to kind of put it in little Ziploc bags and nothing came broken. So everything was perfectly fine here. I'm just organizing my makeup drawers. So I took everything out of my drawers. I had to reorganize my entire makeup collection and I took like an entire day to just put these things in there. And I really do need to go through my makeup and clean it out because I just realized how much stuff I have. Like I've completely forgot. And this is the way that I packaged my perfumes. So I put them inside Ziploc bags and wrap them in bubble wrap. And then I put those bags into little like makeup bags or toiletry bags and every single perfume got here safely and in perfect condition. So now I am just putting them all away in the drawers. I store my perfumes inside drawers and that is how I do my perfume tray monthly. 
I also had a little bag filled with samples of perfumes and everything also came perfectly fine. Nothing was leaking. Here are the rest of my travel size perfumes. So I filled up my little travel organizer with more perfumes, which was super duper fun. And then to end the vlog, I did do a little bit of shopping at Target, so I brought you guys along with me. I love the Target bullseye section. They have so much cute things for Halloween, for fall. I was obsessed with all of the pumpkins. Like, I feel like I should go take another trip to get a few more things because I would like a few more pumpkins now that I decorated for fall. Those little cute Halloween pumpkins are adorable as well. I fell in love with them. And these pillows were adorable. They were $5 and they had such cute little pillows. I definitely took that one and the Hey Pumpkin one. Those two together looked so adorable. So they came home with me. And then here is Walmart. Walmart has so much beautiful fall things as well. Look at this wall. Look at this section just completely filled up with all the different colors and themes and wreaths and just so much stuff. They really do have a lot of selection. So that's going to be it for my vlog today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one.